What's going on YouTube? Now I am here and I'm back here with another banger video and yes look as y'all seen today's title and thumbnail I'm going to be teaching y'all how to ship packages for y'all clothing brand A lot of people been asking me to make this type of video on how to ship because they've been wondering how to actually ship our orders How to buy labels all that good stuff So in today's video, I'm basically just gonna be explaining that to y'all I'm gonna be showing y'all how to ship how I ship my packages where to get y'all label printer What resources y'all need what actually do y'all need to ship a single order for y'all clothing brand if you got new make sure that like button subscribe and k on the way we currently just said 17k so i appreciate all y'all for that support 20k on the way saying let's get straight into this video first things first bro what you guys are going to need is a label printer a computer or laptop poly bags and labels if you guys want these the link is going to be in the description so if you guys want to go and cop these off of amazon that's where i got them first thing first you're going to need your labels for me these are all blank labels these are what you use to print the labels y'all can see these are already made labels like this is what the end result is basically but you guys are gonna want to get some labels from Amazon this is like a 500 stack so because I like to ship a lot at one time so I got 500 labels first thing you need to do get you a stack of labels it could be anytime make sure four times six this the name is gonna be on the screen but four times six labels bro make sure you get four times six labels you want to get you a four times six label printer oh uh, you guys could get this one if you guys want this is the product it's gonna be in the link in the description too this is the one that I use it's kind of good it's like not really it's really like the same thing like they all kind of like the same thing so y'all see this is this is exactly where you put the labels inside of here i'm gonna show y'all that later in the video but get your label printer you actually do it comes with like the connection so you could connect this to like a computer or anything with me i personally use my macbook so this is why i say you guys get a laptop or something i use my macbook to connect that all that stuff so you want to get you these two first things you do these are to actually create the labels if you guys didn't know so let me just go ahead and create put all of these here second thing you are going to need is poly bags i have two different sizes of poly bags that i use but i actually don't have them here y'all see how the white one is way bigger and you see how this one is kind of just fit one hoodie so this is just what i usually do let's say if someone orders two two things then i could put it in the white one but if someone orders just a hoodie then i use this one and if y'all wondering the sizes that I use for this, 12 by 15, the link is gonna be in the description to the ones that I use. Yeah, that's kind of all you really need. The only three things you need in, I'm gonna get you some of this too. If you're not having this, then come on, you need this. It's only $7. Essential oils and skin conditioners, natural, you know what I'm saying? Killing more than 99%. Get you one of these, bro. You don't wanna be having no dirty hands. Get you one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and go on my MacBook, start sharing my screen on my MacBook. As y'all can see, I like having my MacBook cause it got the little touch bar thing. Oh my God, I need to clean it. All right, but so as y'all see in the title and thumbnail, basically is gonna be showing y'all how to ship with y'all clothing brands. So there are three different ways you guys can ship. You guys can use PowerShip, you can ship through Shopify, or you guys can use a label plug if you guys want to. You can see all the orders right here, basically on the uh, dashboard screen. We create shipping labels right here. Shopify is kind of like the most simplest, like, but they do try the most out of all of them if you guys don't have like the highest shopify plan just select any label you want press create shipping label and it's literally that easy it's like a third party shipping source and i suggest y'all use power ship because it actually is cheaper and it's kind of easy to use so what you guys basically just want to do is go ahead and go to powership.com go ahead and see, see how it says save up to 88 percent off just go ahead and make an account you get a free account all that good stuff so it's for free you don't got to pay for it but the labels is not free so you just got to pay for the label you guys can also just go over here and type in power ship it is an app so if you guys want to go ahead and have it you guys just type in power ship at the top it's a Shopify app, so you guys can download it there as well. You just go to the settings and connect your Shopify right here. It might automatically do it, but if you guys don't, click connect new source and just click Shopify. You can scroll down and then you can see Shopify. Yeah, Shopify is right here. Connect your source and then log in with Shopify with your account name, all that good stuff. And that's basically just how easy it is to sign in and just use Shopify. Anytime you guys want to make any labels, yeah, you can schedule a pickup for your packages. You could go ahead and import from Shopify. That's literally just how you get all your orders from Shopify. You guys can see it right here, but it's going to be blurred out because it's just my orders. But you guys get a list of all your orders from Shopify starting from the date, what they ordered. And this is basically just a, a cheaper way from Shopify because pay more for labels so like you could range it from dates that's what I like to do like let's say if I want to ship out all the last week's orders I literally just do this until it says last week so just put Monday the first to 
the fifth. As soon as you do all of that, you could just press get rate. You could also choose it by what type of size of the order it is. So y'all could basically just see it on the screen right here. You could base it off the size of the order, where they order from, which is good if you guys want to ship out like separate orders at a time. That's basically just what I be doing. I be shipping out like a little amount of orders at a time. Filter it by date, filter it by size, filter it by uh, what type of hoodie, what type of tea they ordered. Then you can do that. It's literally as soon as you get whatever you want to order, you want to go ahead and just press get rate. As soon as you press get rate, it's going to take you out to this screen. You know what I'm saying? They're just going to name it import from Shopify. But if you want to change the name to, let's say, international shipping, go ahead. Let's say if this is all the international orders, you could just name it international orders. And what you guys basically do from here, this is the ship from. I'm going to go ahead and show you all something. As y'all can see, all these packages right here, I do, you people do sometimes enter the wrong address. So sometimes it is going to come back to you in the order. So as y'all can see, this order right here, it says return to sender. Feel me? Y'all can see the order. All of these orders are returned to senders, so all of these customers have gotten refunds on their orders. And basically what that means, return to sender, is if someone puts the wrong address, it's going to come back to your address. So whatever you put right here is going to go to that address. You guys could put any address you want. If you want to put your, it is going to show up on the label. Like y'all can see right here at the top, it says statement. It is going to come back at the top. So if you guys don't want to put your home address, me personally, I have my P.O. Box, so so they all go to my P.O. Box for me. So if y'all want that, you just put anything. If you want to put your address, your home address, your work address, just make sure it's a package it could be shipped from because whenever the packages cannot go to go to the person, it's going to come back and return to you. So this is the ship from address, the return address. And then literally, it's that simple, bro. As soon as you literally click get rates, it's going to take you to the buy screen. It's going to tell you all the shipping shipping rates. It tells you the cheapest. It tells you the fastest. It tells you the best. It literally you can ship from UPS, USPS, for all from right here. That's what I'm telling you guys. A third party source, 10 times better. You can ship from UPS if you want. If you want to ship with USPS, you can put priority, ground, do all of this, and it has it at cheap prices. And it also tells you all of the prices. So it says three labels at ground advantage and it's gonna be $20. You could switch to USPS for 44 more. That's why I kind of like this whole system because it's very easy to read. You could sort it out from UPS, USPS. You could sort it out cheapest first. That's why I really like this. It has the shipment details, the weight, all that stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to also tell you guys, the weight and package dimensions. If you guys want, you guys can use the same as mine if you guys are gonna use my same poly bag. This is literally the dimensions that I use. It's not really that serious. The only thing that matters is the weight. So let's say I originally do uh, one pound and three ounces, but if it's kind of like some shorts, some like lower shorts, I would do kind of like 10 ounces. But the thing is with is that if PowerShip, if they do scan it and it is like lower, if you put a lower amount and it's not really that amount, let's say if the package is about like two pounds and I put only like 10 ounces, they will charge you from that from Shopify. From PowerShip, they will charge you that extra probably like 40 cents. So that's why I would just say just do one pound, three ounces. That's what gets by for me every time when I'm shipping with two packages or one packages. You can literally just copy this if you want. They don't really check it out often. Just make sure it's over like a pound or three ounces because all hoodies are over a pound. So if you guys want to weigh it yourself, take an extra route, you can. But me personally, I just do this every single time. Shit from statement. Uh, this is for international. So you guys can see the hoodie line, total value for shipping for international orders. You guys are going to need to do this for customs. Basically, just put the hoodie value, total weight, you know what I'm saying? The harmonization code. You can search it up right here. Kind of easy, bro. And then what I do is I have a bunch of these. So shorts and I don't know what this is. So 13 ounces. Basically, I just go throughout the sizes because the lower the size the cheaper the amount get rates and literally just put your card information put your card information it's going to be charged it says you guys can see 20 dollars you guys can add credit so if you guys want to add like a thousand dollars credit you guys can literally it's just that simple to get a shipping label it's not that hard like i just been telling y'all once you get that just click buy print this is when it's going to go to the four times six labels put these labels inside these i'm gonna go ahead and show you that as well Literally, once you print it, it's gonna send you kind of like a PDF file. I'm gonna show you a file. You guys are gonna get a file that looks like this, you guys. You guys can see all these labels, a batch of 120, 120 labels. You should get your packing slips automatically. Literally, just what it is, is that every single time you print out a label, it comes with the packing slip. So you guys could go ahead and look at the packing slip. They ordered the quantity. You see this person, they ordered two, and that's what that label is. Just as simple as that. It tells you when they ordered, when they, and when you ship it. They order numbers, so 
if you need to look up this person it literally tells you all that good stuff you just open a pdf press Control p well that's how it is for me and then this is where it's going to be when you uh, set up your label printer once you set up your label printer connect it to your computer it's going to give you like a usb you literally just set up the label printer look at the label printer instructions i'm not going to tell you how to use the label printer bro just look at the instructions look at the manual bro look at the manual if you don't get it it's supposed to come with like a file you download and that's basically just going to download the printer onto your computer so you guys can see my file was mhtl 8 that is this label printer so once i do that i literally just click all if i'm shipping all of them other make sure you guys want to go ahead and make sure it is four by six you guys see how it says four by six and it kind of fixes it up a little bit that's the label size that's to make sure it is the same the whole size you guys see you guys don't want it like this bro trust you guys don't want it like this you guys want it you know what i'm saying the same a full size like this so make sure it is four times six when you print it and literally just press print and it's gonna ship it's gonna ship i'm gonna put on videos right here of me shipping me like shipping tons of labels but very self-explanatory like it depends on the one you order it comes with labels but you guys are gonna need to order this if it does not come with labels then you guys are gonna need to buy separate labels bro you guys are gonna need to buy separate labels labels are separate like this close it once you turn it on it'll it should automatically just like set up all that good stuff i'm not going to turn it on do all that right now but i'm put up a video of me doing it in the past tense like i did it before but i'm not going to do it now because i don't feel like doing all that plugging it in and then putting in my thing just to print out no labels but yeah y'all get the gist if you buy it it's going to work feel me i'm gonna put one in the description if you guys want the same one that i use Cause a lot of people ask me what's my label printer which i don't understand because they're all the same thing they all do the same thing the video is not over yet i'm gonna just show you how to exactly ship. So yeah literally just find what they ordered they ordered two black smalls hold on focus two black smalls so i'm gonna go ahead go wherever your inventory is mine is right here and we need two black smalls Shit, bro. Here. Oh, that good I bet so for this one I gotta use this big bag so because it's not gonna fit in both of you. See, take out the label. So you. I'm gonna go and ship this out because we just packed that. I just showed y'all how to pack, how to buy the label. We finna actually ship it out home. Let me turn off the AC. I'm gonna show y'all that it's really not that hard. All you really gotta do is just go ahead, just give it to the post office worker. They scan it like when they can. I don't wait there to see if they scan it. I know a lot of people do to get their receipt and all that stuff, but I don't wait. I just go ahead and give it them because they already know me. So yeah, if you guys do wanna wait, you guys can, but me, I'm not. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go ship this out. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. So I hope y'all enjoying this video. Just a calm little video on how to ship because a lot of people that's what y'all been requesting so why not give y'all what y'all been requesting all that stuff but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera on my phone you don't let cameras in there all you gotta do get your package like united States. or if you go to ups then just go to a ups pete the ricks you know what i'm saying yeah. all right but so as y'all see bro i ain't gonna lie shipping out orders is not a hard thing to do bro it's just time i'm not gonna lie it's literally just time and just if you know what you gotta ship out then you good if you don't know how to ship hopefully now you know how to ship you know what i'm saying if you guys have any more questions just hit the comments down below just comment down something someone in the comment section will help y'all if you need any help with anything but yeah let me know what type of videos y'all want to go ahead and see next you know what i'm saying 20k on the way we at 17.1k so that's crazy i love y'all the support's been crazy i love y'all crazy i'm not finna do some much talking you know what i'm saying hit that like button subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one bro. Your steppers need to start present pills to live up to their title. I'm Simon Cow to these niggas on American Idol. I hit Givenchy all black playing scrubs on vinyl. Had a black girl at 18, somebody go ask Nigel. I scraped my Tesla the other week, I blamed it on Queen Nigel. X marks the spot that need to buy a metal detector.